Well, that's right. And according to the attorneys on this case, nine officers are part of this lawsuit uh, claiming uh, retaliation, claiming uh, corruption. They say a lot of this stems from a personal relationship between the police chief, Alfonso Contreras, and one of his subordinates, a sergeant named Jennifer Gruner. It quickly became apparent that there were now two camps within the same police department. If you approved of the relationship between the chief and the sergeant, according to the evidence, you were afforded favoritism, better opportunities, better treatment. If you disfavored or did not support this relationship, you were subject to retaliation, intimidation, and bad treatment. And that was attorney John Gomez, who says the officers first went to District Superintendent Lamont Jackson about all of this, uh, but they say nothing was done. They say they have photos from Sergeant Gruner's Facebook account uh, proving that both she and Chief Contreras attended an out-of-state football game together while they were supposed to be on the clock working. Gomez says the San Diego Police Officers Association uh, surveyed the 34 officers on the force and found morale was extremely low. The grade they gave it, a D-. Uh, so they want the district to place Chief Contreras on administrative leave. They want a full investigation, and they want an interim chief put in place. Now, Jesus Montana, one of the officers who is filing suit, has said he was the only one speaking out today on this uh, because the other eight officers fear retaliation. We are asking them to protect those who go out to serve and protect our students, not to sit back and protect those who serve the chief of police and his club. And Gomez says they are not seeking a specified amount of, in damages uh, at this time. I did reach out to San Diego Unified for comment. A spokesperson said uh, they don't comment on personnel matters, uh, that they can't comment on pending litigation, uh, but they say the district takes all allegations seriously and investigates them. Kelly Hassett, all CBS News.